Hey guys, welcome to the Amnesia walkthrough for the Midnight Warriors. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this episodically. Uh, DM requested that we do this, and I thought that, you know, that's a great idea. Because I've beaten this game previous, and uh, I know there's a couple people that don't have the time or, or the courage to beat this game. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to walk through it, and we will do the whole game. We'll do it in episodes. So hopefully we can make this entertaining. Now, I will warn you in advance, I am going to ruin this game. It's not going to be scary at all. Uh, so if you're looking for atmosphere and, you know, hey, I want to see how spooky this game is, you ain't going to find that here. Nope. Nope. This game is, is fun, and uh, it is scary. It's probably one of the scariest games I've ever played. Um, but <clears throat> I would highly suggest you stay ahead. Of the of the episodes, because uh, <laughs> it's not going to be scary. So uh, the yeah tinderbox, sweet. The one thing that you do want to do in this game is be very thorough, because the one thing I've noticed is house plants. What, huh? What about what? What are you doing, viral? Whatever. Drink. So look at that. Look at that. Such detail, but what I was going to say, it really is awesome. The one thing this game does really well is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is just downright freaky. It's so cool. But you do want to be thorough because uh, <laughs> this game will let you beat the game. With a, oh, he's going down. He's going down. Stand up. Oh, stand up. <clears throat> you can beat it and not uh, see all the endings. You can watch this. Shack at the free throw line. Oh! You can beat it and not be able to see all the endings. So you do have to be thorough and uh, look around. Uh, I am a miser when it comes to my uh, when it comes to my tinder boxes and my lamp oil. <clears throat> I don't use it very often. Uh, light is your only friend in this game. Tinder box. Uh... It, it does a really great job of scaring you, scaring you, especially if you have the the iron nerve to play this game at night <clears throat> with your headphones on. This is one scary ass game. Ting box, sweet. Yeah, yeah, going for two. Boo. Danger says boo. He knows I'm playing it. He knows I'm playing it. So. Um, another tinder box. I'm stockpiling him. And a broom! Sweep up this ice cream. What a mess. Stupid. Turn him out, castle. Get out. Um, I was hoping to have a better mouse pad by today, too, and I don't. I'm sorry, so there still will be clunking. I'm gonna get rid of that as soon as I can. Uh, so I apologize for the clunkins. But this game, uh,. <clears throat> Good grief. That will hopefully stop soon. Clearing my throat is one annoying thing. The first thing you'll notice about this game is the pace. Daniel, your main character, is is a waif of a man. He uh oh, oh. he's oftentimes down, losing his look at this. Oh, the vapor's got me, I'm going down. <laughs> he's down again. Daniel spends a fair amount of time on the ground, but that's okay. Ooh, Haunted Mansion move right there. Thank you, Disney, for making things so scary. More ice cream. Um, no, it really is a tremendous game. It's got good atmosphere. You have no defenses. The only thing you can do is run and hide. And I'll be honest with you, Daniel, not the athlete. Not, uh, not a good runner. So... That's part of what makes the game so scary is you rely on Daniel's athletic ability to get you out of jams here and there, and Daniel has no athletic ability at all. In fact, I think Daniel is, uh, yeah, modeled after a seven-year-old girl, to be honest. No offense to seven-year-old girls, but... Oh. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Look at that wind and a... Shut up. Yeah, so if you're expecting to... 
you know, to fight other monsters off, uh, that's not going to happen in Amnesia. You can't fight. There is no, uh, you've got no defenses, you have nothing. You just have Daniel's two foots, and that's it. And uh, Daniel, here, I'll show you. Here, Daniel, pick up a rock and throw it. Eh. Oh, that was rad. Let's see if we can do it with the other one. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah! Daniel is not much of a runner. He apparently has an arm, which is good. Who eats roses? Turkish delights. Okay, really? Who cares? Some more ice cream. More ice cream. <laughs> Sweet! Yeah! Yeah! Apparently we're in the restroom. Um, you do have to keep a constant eye on your sanity in this game. Because uh, sanity will... You have to stay in the light. Sanity will make your vision blurry. Uh, when you see monsters, or I like to call them when you see Michael Jackson. Um, I know. I know. Too soon. Too soon. He just died. Have a heart. Poor guy. Had a rough... Um, but they are Michael Jackson-esque. They're kind of freaky. Um, when you see monsters and stuff, you will go insane. So if you see monsters, don't look at them. Fortunately, too, monsters are stupid. And uh, all you have to do is crouch, and they will pass right by you. So uh, the game is scary, but don't worry, because the monsters are dumb. <clears throat> and they won't hurt you. If they see you, they will. But fortunately, the monsters apparently lack the, uh, the ability to look down, or left, or right, or up. Here we go. Lamp. Awesome. Now we don't need tinder boxes. Now this is where the stinginess of lamp oil comes in. Um, try to use it sparingly, because it's it's light is your only friend in this game. And like I said, be thorough. Look around every little corner, because there are stuff. They did a good job at hiding stuff. Um, look. Okay, that's just weird. Alexander the bad guy leaves his house in ruins, but he takes care of the shrubbery. Ruins. Shrubbery. Ruins. Shrubbery. Man has his priorities out of whack. You gotta be careful of a bad guy like that, you know? You really do. He's all, I'm gonna kill everyone! All of you! After I water my azaleas. Here we go, so. Man's into his shrubs, you gotta appreciate that. He likes to find it. Oh, look, see? Tin the box. And another fire. He's not a heartless bad guy. He likes to keep us warm, he looks out for us. He knows what's important in life. Heat. Now, if this was a Duraflame log, this room would be full of smoke. Daniel, I'm sure, would be on his back again. Oh, right now. Another tinder box. Look at this. Look. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Uh oh, hold on. Still a slight headache. Hopefully, I can come across some Motrin or something. Motrin. Advil. Yeah, lamp oil. Now, another clue in in this this game is when you see something glowing pink, it's a trigger. Have a good look around the room before you trigger a trigger because uh, usually that means a monster is going to come chasing you or you'll move on and uh, kind of sucks because there's a lot of times a lot of stuff to find in a room and you go and click on a trigger and you, you lose access to some of that stuff. He's crazy. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. God willing. If not, this will sound horrible. Still does. Go to the inner sanctum. 
find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. Apparently he hasn't played being himself yet. One last thing. His shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare. Told you it's Michael Jackson. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Okay, so clue number one, Daniel the dick. Okay, so let's turn down the sound and pull this lever. This is the end of episode one lever. I can't pull it down. Why can't I pull it down? Oh, hold on, I'm gonna try that again. Yeah! Oh no! My external defragging! Alright, guys, so here's the end of episode one. Thanks again for watching, and uh, look forward to doing it. We already read that one. It's repeating itself. It's not even a good one to repeat. So yeah, it's the end of episode one. Look forward to doing episode number two. And uh, I know game day is this Saturday. Looking forward to that, guys. So I'll see you there. Bye.